This is so, so, so important and it can't be and it must not be overlooked. We're talking grip thickness. So if you're wondering how thick should my grips be, I've got arthritis in my hands, should I go thicker? Let's cover all these questions today. Because the main thing about this is the impact on one, our comfort of our hands on the golf club. When you think about it, it's got to be pretty important that hasn't it, right? Because it's our only contact with the golf club. The second thing is the impact on the release of the golf club if you have too thick or potentially too thin grips. Let's get into today's video. So the first place I want to start with this, if we've got grips that are too thin for us. And I want you to get in the comments down below. What grips are you currently using? So what brand and what size? So you can see here, this is a Lamkin undersize, and you'll find this all on the butt end of the golf club. So first and foremost, if your grip is too thin for you, what you'll find is when you're gripping this golf club, your middle two fingers will be pressing and digging into this meaty part of our hand. That's gonna be one, very uncomfortable, and two, if we put this in terms of what we could potentially see more in the release, is that our hands get a little bit more active. So we're able to roll and release this golf club a little bit too much. Like if I had an alignment stick in here, I could really release this, and my fingers are really digging into my meaty part of my hand. Now, obviously we don't grab an alignment stick, but the premise stays the same. So let's go to the other end of the spectrum. If we go for something that's a little bit too thick for us, what will we find? We will find that our fingers, we have a bit too much of a gap between our middle two fingers and this meaty part of our hand. So that would be a really good example of a grip that's too thick for me, personally. I wear a, a small glove, so for me, a standard golf grip is good. So what would we see in terms of release there? So if we had a golf club that was too thick for us, and we haven't been told to get a thicker grip like Bryson, okay, we would potentially see it difficult not saying we would do this all the time, but difficult to release this golf club. Imagine gripping something this big, it would be very, very hard for these forearms and wrists to work. Take Bryson for an example. He uses a thicker grip and grips it in the palm because he wants these wrists out of his golf game as much as possible, and he wants to be a body release as much as possible. Now for us mere mortals, that is just not the case. We have to get the grip set up for us correctly. Now don't forget halfway through this video, but we will talk about at the end, if you have arthritis, what do you need to do to make sure you've got the correct grip? But firstly, let's talk about testing you right now. And I want you to go and grab your golf club. And if you have, go and get it now. If you want it a little bit more written down in the PDF guide, we do have a Facebook group that you can join and I'll personally let you in. All the information is down below. So what we're looking for is that when we're gripping a golf club, our fingers just touch and press into the meaty part of our hand. And just touch, I mean just. You can see there on my golf club, my two middle fingers are just touching the meaty part of my hand. That is a really good telltale sign that we have this grip correct for us. Now, we've got to get a good combination of a good grip. One, for comfort. Our hands have to be good. If we've got it too thin, we're gonna feel like our hands are engulfing this club and it's hard to orientate our hands onto the club. It's hard to show enough knuckles. Too thick, again, hard to orientate and it's hard to get our hands comfortable. So finding that correct grip for you, fingers just touching that meaty part, is really important to allow you to release this golf club for your swing. So I'm gonna hit this one away. 180 yards. Toughy this, long way. One of my favorite holes here at Motcham Hall. Um, so let's hit this one away right now. Okay, standing in, let's hit it away.
just creeping on front edge. So let's now talk about if you're a golfer with arthritis, what can we do to make it more comfortable for you to hold the club? This has to be the first and foremost, the most biggest priority. If you're a golfer who struggles to bend those fingers and move your hands because of arthritis, we've got to throw out the occasion, what I've just said about it being too thin, we might be a bit too handsy, too thick, not getting the release enough and potentially miss it off the right. And we have to outweigh all that and go for comfort. At the end of the day, we wanna keep you playing golf for as long as possible. So what I would suggest, something like this. Plus 4.4, four, mid-size or oversized, the same thickness throughout. So this is a mid-size one here, but you can get bigger versions. But the plus 4.4 four essentially means we've got the same thickness throughout rather than it being tapered down and in. So this will allow us to get the hands more comfortably sat on this golf club. Something a little bit bigger in our hands requires us to bend these hands less, which makes it easier to take our grip of the golf club. So what I would really recommend, if you're a golfer with arthritis, look towards that thicker end of the spectrum, maybe even a spongy sort of feel to it to take the shock of hitting it out, and that feeling of then being able to get our hands comfortable on the golf club and orientated correctly will be able to achieve a lot easier for you. So let's come over here, let's summarize it with all these grips. Number one, if your golf grip is too thin for you, fingers will press into this meaty part of our hand. We'll find it hard to orientate our hands on the golf club. Okay, number two, if we have a grip that's too thick for us, we'll find that our fingers have a big gap on here and we'll find it hard to release the golf club. Okay, and then number three, if we've got it right, what we want to feel is that our fingers are just pressing and just touching into this meaty part of our hand. Now, you might be thinking right now, how do I, how do I, actually go down this route? How do I know which grip's right for me? Well, I would go through in terms of thickness, then do I want something that's a bit spongy? Do I prefer a corded feel? All these things are really important, but what I wanted to get out of today's video today is having the correct grip thickness is important for your release, important for your comfort, and important for keeping you playing the wonderful game of golf that we love. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to subscribe and join this channel. Don't forget we've got daily tips that are here to keep you playing, help you improve, and enjoy your golf just that little bit more.